have selected a few, just three photos that I wanted to put together to ask you a little bit about. They all seem to capture the aftermath or the prelude to violence. You know, you just make the photograph. I try, I try not to uh, decide on the moment what's right and what's wrong. We know what's right and what's wrong. If you start question, questioning what you're doing, why you're doing it, you just screwed yourself. You're waiting for this train. The train took off and you never made it because you were busy thinking, overthinking it. And so just such a surrealistic time with this photograph because of uh, the craziness that was going on. It was, uh, it's, I think, particularly dealing with race, it's more dangerous than maybe going to another another war or something, you know, because uh, it's, it's not something you can just easily walk away from. The second picture, it, it was, it's one of my favorite pictures because of the, yeah, the, the, the unsuing violence where the player was hitting him. Somebody, it took so many years for him to discover that, you know, brain damage to the brain. How many years did it take? And yet the crowds, they don't, they don't, you know, not aware of this. And yet they're reaching out to, to some kind of power source, you know, and it, it reminds me of something from the Middle Ages, the dark Middle Ages, you know, because of uh, all that, the crowd and in, in, in that energy and that unawareness. And again, it was not time to think about it. It's time to engage and make the photograph. And the, the other picture, I had been working on something, uh, on assignment for literally as awake 40 hours. And I bought a scanner, a hand scanner, a uh, police scanner. And I was sort of crazy tired and I put some batteries in the thing and I laid on my bed and I switched it on and I hear this sounds like World War III coming out of Crown Heights. So I got out of bed and I got dressed stumbled down to the subway, and this is the very first frame I took when I came out of the uh, subway station. I mean, for a long time, I've had respect for cops that are honorable people, protect and serve. That's what they're supposed to do. And then there's the other thing, a, a sadistic cops, some, you know, that are, that are gonna hurt people and have hurt people and killed people. And yet you still have to try to document it as, as, as honestly as possible, you know? Gene Smith said, let truth be the prejudice. And that's all you can do at certain times. A lot of times, if you can do that, then you're ahead of the game.